Welcome. This is a percussive strumming pattern guitar lesson. I'm Jared Borkowski from soundguitarlessons.com. This is going to be very cool. We are going to talk about the one element you need to add into your playing to get that percussive sound going. And you can add it into finger picking style or strumming. Kind of a mixture of both is what we're going to do. And you can do it on any type of guitar. So let's jump in and learn about this percussive element to add into our playing. Okay, so the chord progression I want to use to teach you this is going to be one, three, four in the key of F. This is the one chord of F, F major, three chord of F, A minor seven. Could be A minor triad, but I'm doing A minor seven, which is like this minor bar chord, lift the pinky off, and then B flat major. And I'm not doing full bar chords here. Notice how I'm kind of doing this hinge movement. I'm playing that, the bottom four strings, that's all I need. I don't want those open strings to get heard, so I am touching them so they click if they do ac accidentally get, get touched. But I'm just pointing that out because I'm not needing the full kind of bar squeeze. It's not that hard. This is actually tips of the fingers on all four of these fingers, just getting that shape and then touching the string a little bit with the side of my finger. So we're intentionally not using open strings right now just to get kind of a tighter percussive sound, but we'll talk about using open strings after this. The first pattern I wanna show you, it, we're going to use the bottom note of the chord shape, which happens to be the root in this case. You can do this with any chord shapes you want though. So bottom note, then, then we're gonna play the, the rest of the chord, bottom note, chord, and then hit. We're just gonna do this common, kind of hit the strings, so the strings hit the frets, you get this percussive element. So bottom note, chord, hit. Okay, and then we're gonna do that again on each chord. That's our chord progression. This, I was playing with this chord progression because I just discovered the song, uh, Here You Come Again, which uh, Dolly Parton popularized uh, or made famous. Uh, just a beautiful song, just a wonderfully written song. So I had that in mind here. Uh, this chord progression. It's also just a very popular and common chord progression in general, one, three, four. Um, but that's what I was playing with today, and this and this pattern works quite well with it. So we're going to do that low note chord hit, low note chord hit, low note chord hit. But we're going to add one thing into it, and that's that right before you switch chords, I want you to hit the thumb again and just have it click. So, so we're going to go... could also play that note. I like to click it though, because it's kind of hard dun, dun, to kind of move up. Or if you play it early like I did before, it doesn't quite sound right. So I kind of, while I'm switching, I like to click that. And you can do variations of this. This is just to help you get started. That's a great um, feel right there already. Notice sometimes I'll play that extra bass note, sometimes I'll click it, sometimes you can skip it. I played it twice, click it. So practice that on one chord at a time if you want to as well. Now here's the problem, this is why we need to upgrade. And this is because that percussive moment is the backbeat, it's two and four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. Okay, well that's also the spot that in a lot of music, if you're playing in a band, that might be where you actually want the guitar. Dun, 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 dun. Two, three, four, one, two. You actually might want to hit the guitar, have guitar chords uh, being strummed during that time, uh, and or just you might want uh, a percussive element and notes at the same time um, somewhere in your music. So this next technique is for that. So here's how we're going to change it a little bit. We're going to play that low note, and then we're going to play the next note up, just plucking it. One, five, whatever voicing you're using, though it might not be one, five, but in this case it's one, five, one, five, one, five on each of these chords. One, five, and then we're, I'm going to do our percussive hit with the thumb. Just getting this, basically on the bottom string, bottom two strings. Okay, don't mind my hitchhiker thumb there, that means nothing. Just, it actually probably makes it harder. So just normal, whatever your thumb is like, just slap it down there. And then, so I'm playing one, five, and then you're gonna do that. And while you do that, you're strumming with the first finger at the same time. So you can do it with just muted strings here to, to practice where you slap and strum. So my 
first finger is just scraping the strings, doing a strum, while the thumb hits those bottom strings for the percussive element. Now I'm getting kind of a click there with, with the first finger as well, but when you use an actual chord, you'll get the chord sound and then the percussive sound at the same time. Notice I'm kind of rotating the wrist a little bit because that helps you kind of come in and get a snappy uh, percussive hit as well as the strum. So I'm gonna intentionally basically get this feel with a sh nice short chord, so one, five, and then chord. Okay, so that's the feel we're going for. That's a great feel, but what if we want that percussive with it? That's it. Okay, so that's it. And there's, there's going, that's gonna come in really useful, just that, just even this part. Is it, this is just one way to use it, one pattern that I think is very effective that if you make a habit of, you're going to find yourself using that. Uh, just when you're working on song arrangements, writing your own songs, whatever it is that you do, that's your, that's your thing. This is really nice. You'll fit it in somewhere that maybe isn't that exact pattern, but that's a great first pattern and way to do it. So um, certainly I recommend just playing around in a key. Um, knowing the chords for the key, one chord, two chord, three chord, four chord, five chord, that kind of thing, and just kind of jamming or making up your own thing or whatever, just to practice this, even though I showed you that one chord progression just to get started with it. Okay, and then of course you can do it off the fifth string. This is a D minor seven chord. Here's G minor seven. This is like what the, the progression of that song goes. So if you try this on open string chords like a normal C, um, you're not gonna be able to get that short, perfectly kind of muted chord sound because part of what we're doing here is we're lifting off with the left hand to mute those strings. You're kind of playing the chord but then lifting off here with the left hand. So if it's open, you can just let it ring or kind of have a hybrid of muting it a little bit by lifting off. So, but this works great too. Now notice I'm connecting the bass lines on purpose just for that, that connected sound. And part of that too with the A minor is I, I can't really mute it with my left hand. So, um, so it does work with open strings, just takes a little bit of adapting and getting used to and, and finding your own environment that you like to use it in. And then lastly, I just wanna point out how you can combine those two versions that we talked about. This just shows how um, adaptable this is. And, and again, you'll find your own way to integrate it into your picking patterns or in your strumming patterns that you're already using. But if we sped up the, if we sped up the tempo a bit, I would feel like getting that um, actual strum maybe the first time and then every other just doing the version without the strum with it. So I like that. If the tempo's faster, I like that. So just use your creative taste, use your artistic sense and you know integrate that in somewhere where you might need to. If you want to work on this a little more or any other finger picking or strumming patterns uh, definitely grab my free chord chart called chords with color it breaks down all of the chords within five different keys and then a bunch of amazing chord voicings that you can replace each chord with a bunch of beautiful colorful chords some of them you may have never played before and it could add some um, exciting new sounds to your playing and also the last page of the booklet has a list of the 
20 most common chord progressions. So if you want to work on this percussive element more or any other kind of strumming or finger picking, then you can grab some of those chord progressions and uh, grab any of those chord shapes and start working with that. Just use the link in the description or go to chordswithcolor.com. And I'll be back next week again on this channel with another lesson, and it will be on some neo soul style guitar playing with some beautiful jazz chord voicings that we're going to use to get this kind of groove, this popular sound that is being used right now in R&B, neo soul, lo-fi hip hop, and just solo jazz guitar and chord melodies all kind of coming from the same place there. So that'll be next week. Hope to see you there. Take care and happy practicing.